Welcome to the Star of Grind. I know your background was, you know, as a musician, and then you you wanted to be a sound designer. Is is music kind of the core goal of your project? I mean, or uh, of SoundCloud? Is it is it about the creation of music for you? Is that still kind of? I mean, music is 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 a huge part of it. But even like going back to so after after high school, like I the only thing I wanted to do. Uh, in life was to work in a studio. Like I loved tech, and I loved like you know, uh, making music and making sound. So I was like, if I work in a studio, I get to do both of those. I get to geek around with all this awesome equipment, like create these crazy sounds, and that was like ev everything I wanted to do. So I ended up as a sound designer at this um, post-production studio, doing sound and music for movies. Um, and the cool thing about that was that it was some music making, but it was also like all the sound effects for movies, like the car door closing, uh, you know, somebody putting down a bottle of water. You have to re-record that sound and put it into the, the, to the movie. So I got to really like deeply geek out with all imaginable sounds um, in, in the world and, and, and have fun with it. And that sort of got me interested in, in, in sort of the magic of all different kinds of sounds, not, not just the music side. And I think when we started SoundCloud, we were really focused on the music piece of it. But I always had this kind of hope that you know we'd be able to do other things as well. Like people would share sound effects, they would share recordings from, you know, somebody will record a car in San Francisco, and then somebody's making a movie in Moscow, and they can use that sound. And but we didn't know if that was going to happen or not. And then I think our users over time showed us that, you know, this is a great product for music, but this is also a great product for all other audio content as well. We started seeing, you know, news organizations like Al Jazeera and CNN use it. We, we started seeing like public companies using it for putting up earnings calls, and we were like, whoa, whoa never thought about that, but it makes perfect sense. Um, so I think, like, it was something we, we liked, and then the users guided us into, into this world where Basically, we think about all different kind of sounds in the world, all different kind of audio, and part of it is music, and part of it is voice, and part of it is unrecognizable, weird, <laughs> weird sounds. But they all kind of they all kind of fit there. And as as just as a user, for me, I love that because I know that I can go there and I can find the most unique, the most the, the newest. Um, actually, you can't say most unique; that doesn't exist. But um, <laughs> but. Um, you know, there's the, like really this this breadth of amazing amazing stuff, and for me, that's partly like what I get when when I go to YouTube as well, and something I've always loved about YouTube that you know I can go there and I can I can find anything I'm looking for, and I'm gonna find a lot of stuff I wasn't looking for, but that I appreciate once I found it, and um, I'm you know I'm frequently getting those experiences on SoundCloud now as well, which is which is really cool. <laughs> 